Hey there, this is Alex with Rent Baby Tech, and today I'm going to be walking you through the cleanup process that we go through on a standard cleaning for a snoo. Now, uh, this is a customer's unit. It was brought into us because they had just purchased it off Facebook Marketplace. Was not as clean as they were hoping. Uh, so we're going to go through a light cleanup, clean everything off internally, make sure it's good to go. As part of that, we're also going to be checking out some of the internals, see if there's any issues or problems that need to be addressed before the little one gets put in here. Overall, pretty quick process, uh, and as you'll see in the video here, uh, there's a lot to cover, so let's get started. So the first thing to note is that there's a little bit of loose debris, nothing too terrible, uh, a little bit of dirt and staining here, uh, and if we go into the inside, Uh, we can see quite a bit of uh, dust, dirt, debris, and all the other kind of stuff that goes inside the snoo. So, uh, we're going to start off by taking the inner netting, and we're going to lift that up and loosen that so that we can get in here and attempt to clean it. Now, there's lots of tools on the market. Everybody has their own process. I prefer these black... Sprugers, as they're called. Uh, they're soft, uh, so they don't mar the metal or the plastic. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive and a great way to get into the snoo. Now that we have the uh, hold down clips off, you, we're going to do a quick check. This is a great way to see if there's been any uh, throw up that may have been hastily cleaned up but have seeped down into it. Fortunately in this case, I'm not seeing anything, so we're good to move on to the next step. I'm going to take these, set these aside, uh, and we will open this guy up. Now, in a lot of videos, uh, the next steps you'll see is to remove all of these screws here. But I'm telling you, you don't necessarily need to do that. With a little bit of care, you can actually remove the netting and put it back in while not removing any of these screws here. So we're going to go ahead and pop this out and see what we're working with. Easy as that. Now that we're getting onto the inside of the snoo, we're going to go ahead and glove up and open this guy up for inspection. Okay. So, we'll see if we can zoom in here as part of the, uh, the video. As you can see, a little bit of dirt and dust some hair, uh, but overall pretty clean. Um, no major concerns, uh, at least uh, from a biological standpoint. So, uh, next step in here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this metal plate off the top here, see if there's anything else that we need to be concerned with. So, there are the six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six over here on, uh, on the other side. There are plastic washers, underneath each of these screws. They're clear, they're conical, and they're invisible if you drop them on the floor. So try not to do that. So we're gonna pull these out right now. So let's go ahead and remove this plate. Again, try not to lose these screws or the washers. So, uh, interesting little bit of find here. Let's see if I can maneuver the camera a little bit better here. You can see right down and along here, this orange, uh, this is definitely cleaned up barf. Uh, at some point it soaked in. It looked like somebody did a decent job of cleaning it up. Uh, however, it is definitely indicative that something, something was spilled in here. Uh, likewise, uh, 
a little hard to see on camera, but uh, we can see another area on this side. Um, uh, again, a little bit of spit up. Now, this is the speaker side. This is where your little one's head goes. It's almost guaranteed that if you're getting a secondhand snoo, there's going to be at least a little barf, maybe a little bit more in there. So, um, with this, uh, of course, we are going to go ahead and clean this up. However, since we're already here, I'd like to take this down just one more level uh, and check the layer below this. I want to check all of the O-rings. They're the most common reasons that a snoo will fail uh, is the O-rings. Uh, and we'll go through and I'll walk you through that here as well. Pretty quick process. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the uh, zip ties. One, two, three. They are holding wires down. Be careful, do not cut the wires. If you have a set of small side cutters, they work even better than a big pair of scissors like this. And don't worry, we are going to replace these zip ties before we put everything back together. If this is your first time, if you are not used to taking apart consumer electronic devices, take pictures every step along the way. Don't be afraid to go slow. I've done, I'm doing this fast because I've done this a few times. So, we're going to start off by disconnecting the speaker here. Try not to pull on the cables because they could get pulled out of the housing and it will be impossible for you to put it back together. So pull from the plastic parts, they'll come apart. Disconnect the other one. So we have disconnected the two wings and the speaker. The last step here is we're going to go ahead and take this um, uh, center post and we're going to push it down and twist it from the one position to the zero position. Probably a little hard to see on the camera, but it's there. There are other models of the snoo particularly older ones that will just have a single Phillips head screw here. Those do not have to go through this process. You simply can lift up at this point. However, if you do see this set screw here, you want to take a nice big flathead screwdriver or big Phillips, press down. You'll feel some resistance from the rubber underneath. Twist it 90 degrees counterclockwise. The circle is now set here and we can begin lifting this plate up. First thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be careful. We need to make sure that all of these wires, one, two, three, all route back down through this foam so that we don't end up damaging those wires. So we're going to grab, carefully lift up, make sure our wires route through. And now we are into the belly of the snoo. Now, if you needed to replace your motor, uh, which is on this side, motor assembly, motor O-rings, any of these bearings, this is where this process is going to start. Uh, I'm not going to walk through that process today uh, of disassembling the bottom half of the snoo. It is much, much longer. So we're going to keep it here. Uh, because overall, what we can see is that this snoo is pretty clean. Uh, there's dirt and debris, of course, that built up over time, but the vacuum is going to take care of most of that. What we're interested in here is what is the condition of all of these soft wearable parts. So looking at the motor O-rings, these all look like they're in excellent shape, so we don't need to do anything there. We're going to give a quick spin to all of these ball bearings, uh, make sure that we don't see either any uh, fraying on the O-rings themselves. 
we don't hear any clicking uh, or feel any drag uh, from these bearings because that will lead to problems down the line. Overall, these look good. A little dirty, but overall, nothing terrible. So we're gonna go through, clean everything up now, uh, starting with the vacuum to get all of the loose, loose dirt and debris. Uh, we'll pop out some of these components here, uh, and we'll get to the process of putting everything back together. Um, stick with me as I go through this process. Thanks. Now that we've cleared up the dust, dirt, debris, uh, and everything else loose in here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the sanitization process. Uh, there's a couple of different options here. Uh, within the shop, we use a combination of cavicide and hydrogen peroxide. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to both of these products being used in conjunction. Really, what we're making sure is that any surface that your little one could even potentially come in contact with is gonna be clean, disinfected, and ready to go. Now your little one won't come in contact with this plate down here, so we're not gonna worry about sanitizing that part. Not to mention there's a lot of components and other things in here we don't really wanna to touch. Keep in mind these brown, uh, loosely floating pieces right here and on the opposite side, these are what's gonna be screwing back into those six original silver screws that we removed. Keep them in place, don't lose them. We're gonna start by putting it in the right direction. That's always the first key detail. Uh, <laughs> next, we're gonna pop in this piece. You'll need a little flexibility to manage this blind. Next, we're gonna push the speaker through. Lastly, our second wing. Okay, now we have our cables through. We're gonna realign the center pin here. So we're gonna lift everything up, find that center point. very lightly, we're gonna press it back down. You'll feel it's in the right spot, you'll be able to put it back to the usual motion the SNU has. This center pin should remain in the zero position. And these cables should have uh, slack. They shouldn't be tight, okay? So now we are going to reconnect these cables so that we don't forget. Then we're gonna clean up the interior surface and we'll go on from there.
Now we're going to go ahead and replace these zip ties while we're waiting for our cavicide and hydrogen peroxide to dry out. And three. Right, that's one. Two. And number three. All right, we're in the home stretch. Now, uh, remember those brown clips I showed you? We need to make sure that they are lined up directly beneath these holes here, one, two, three, and the same on the other side over here. There's a number of ways to do this. However, I found the easiest is to take something simple and small, like a Q-tip, insert that down here, and make sure that we have contact with that brown piece. You can hear it rattling around down there. Now I've got it seated. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we have it seated on both ends. Uh, before we go ahead and put the top piece on, we're gonna go ahead and power it on, test it, make sure it is still working. Pretty confident, but you never know. Always good practice. Right. So let's go ahead and tighten everything down, get her put back together. We're turning this back to the one position from the zero position. Note which side is the speaker side, it has the speaker grill. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we're nice and lined up here. We're going to pull this back out. Do the same on the other side. We're going to go ahead and set this back in. Okay, let's tighten it back down. All right, now, before we put the netting back into place, uh, we're going to give it one final pass through with the sanitizer and with our vacuum just to make sure there's no lasting dirt or debris, anything that may have come in as we've been taking this apart. Okay. Last step here is we're gonna put this netting back into place. So you'll see on the netting itself, there is this plastic tab here, okay? So this plastic tab is gonna line up with our connectors. There's a spare connector off of another snoo. 
So you can see this portion here, this little clip at the end, that's what we're aiming for. So we're gonna roughly line everything up, get it set back by the wings to give it a little bit of placement. Unfold it. And we're gonna come back in with our sprucher and we're gonna push everything back into place. And we'll be just about done. You'll hear a nice satisfying click as you push them back in. Now while I'm closing this up, it's worth noting that this new netting here seems to be a little bit faded. There is a process to remove this netting completely, re-whiten it, and reinstall it. Uh, the customer this time did not opt for that uh, simply due to expense. Uh, however, on a snoo that you're going to be using for many years, uh, or maybe something that you have damaged, uh, seen red wine, crayon, Cheetos, anything that genuinely... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> genuinely could cause some damage. We've seen it. Um, the snoo, white, uh, snoo net whitening process is a fantastic way to make the snoo look like absolute new. Uh, and maybe if we uh, see some good results from this video, maybe we'll put, it, put together another video describing that process as well. So let's go ahead and get this guy closed back up because it's time to move on to the next one. We have a lot of products in store today and we have to keep things moving. So thank you for taking the time to come. Watch this video, learn a little bit about the inside of your snoo, learn a few tips and tricks, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully have yourself a wonderful day.